Hey folks, welcome to the Natural Medic Adventures. It's been a while, but here I am. It's my birthday. It's April 4th, 2023, and I am at, I don't know if you can see behind me very well, Cedar Bayou Marina. So I am trying to do a little day hike today, even though the weather is not really the best. Let's see what happens. So follow me down the trail here at the Cross Timbers on Lake Texoma in North Texas. So the terrain is gently rolling through all of these kind of cedar and oak woodlands and uh, that gives you some variety. There's like a ton of campsites on this trail. The trail of course is free to use. It is on Corps of Engineer land. If you park at Cedar Bayou, Cedar Marina, Cedar Bayou Marina, get it right here in a second. Like I did, it's a five dollar use fee like per day so that's really pretty inexpensive and you just park along the roadway there so here's one of the campsites pretty popular one a little bluff here above the finger of the Lake Texoma pretty neat never stayed in this one myself but a lot of people do yep I'm already sweating but if you'll look behind me let me set my poles right here there is the Lost Loop Junction. So Lost Loop Trail goes to the right, Main Trail goes to the left, and here's a neat little signpost. Always love to see this thing. Woo! It's windy out here on this point, but if you look, I'm on standing on top of these rocks right here. There's part of the Lost Loop over there, Devil's Backbone, coming down that kind of ridge line over there and then you can't really see it but over there in that corner is the five mile camp which was where Mark and I usually camp when we come out here. So I'm going to get back on the trail. I'm sitting here at five mile camp and this is usually where Mark and I stay whenever we come out here. Sorry he wasn't able to come out here today but you can see there's a nice view from this area. I'm sitting by the third fire pit the closest one to the water. There's three fire pits here. Let me turn the camera around so you can see. There's a fire pit here, there's one about halfway up, and then there's another one up there by that big log. So, lots of space at this particular campsite for a bigger group or even multiple groups, if people were cool with that. You got a nice view all the way out here on this area. Devil's Backbone goes up there where you see the white arrows. You just follow that, it's a rugged little trail up the ridge line there. But the trail continues actually on the Eagle's Roost up that way. Let's go check it out. Hey, if you're liking this content, make sure you give me a thumbs up so you can see more content like this. So when you leave Five Mile Camp, you're going uphill here to Eagle's Roost. You can see it's getting more rugged, sandstone rocks, more rocks in the tread of the trail. Here we go. Here's how you get to Eagle's Roost. It's a half a mile walk down from this junction here. This way goes towards the rest of the trail the western end of the trail it says here fern grotto stairway to heaven i've never been past this marker so i don't know where it goes but someday i'll find out eagle's roost highest portion of the trail the land over here to the right is texas 377 bridge right there and that land kind of joining out in the point right there is oklahoma nice view and if you come down here further there is a small area for camping probably enough space for three or four tents fire ring and if you keep going down the bluff here there is access to the water because if you come over here you can see that this tree right here is clinging on for dear life <laughs> kind of like most of us are these days and you can see it's a bit of a trip down to the water here if you go from this side probably about 50 to 75 foot above the water here pretty neat though glad that I got to come out here today Took me about a little over two hours, about two hours, 15 minutes, and three and 34, 34 hundredths from the trailhead. And I'm gonna eat quick lunch and head back. Right below Eagle's Roost, I don't know if you can see them. Behind the trees, there's a bunch of little waterfowl birds. I think those are coots, but I'm not sure. They're just hanging out right there by that little point right there. Just chilling. Having a good day. About halfway down the Devil's Backbone, as you see, it's pretty rugged. Straight shot back to Five Mile Camp, but definitely have to take your time. 
and ease down it. Hey folks, what's up? I had to quit filming on the trail because it started raining. But I hope you enjoyed the journey. I think it's a great trail that's not too far from DFW Metroplex. Good for day hiking, good for backpacking. The total trail length is 15 miles, but I typically do about, to, like on that particular day I was out there, I did three, about three and three quarter miles in, about a seven mile round trip. But if you like videos like this, make sure to give this a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. If you have any comments, questions, make sure to leave them below. And until next time, I'll see you out on the trail.